client that, that we rebranded, he had um, you know uh, the calls all tracked when they when they came into the call center. So he knew mm -hmm. exactly how many phone calls he was getting before the rebrand and after. So he had one year's one year worth of data before. He had 83 phone calls in one year, which is awful, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a white nice. van with like final letters on it, right? Mm -hmm. The the year after, one year after, 1,000 phone calls Ooh. from the truck wrap. So oh, wow. 10x basically, mm -hmm. 10x. So so like that's when you know it's really really working. And think about all the revenue generated from a thousand additional phone calls, essentially, right? Like it's 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 absurd. So like. You know, you can't beat the medium, but the problem is, is most guys don't understand the medium, and most are the most of the wraps you see out on the road are actually awful. So, right. so making True. sure you invest properly in it is is really where you yield the, the biggest dividends on on that. So. Oh yeah, it's such a huge opportunity in our industry, guys, for for a one man yeah. truck to look like, you know, they are the the business in in that town. It, it's it, the possibility is so there, you know, and it's an easy, you know, th I think of it, I thought of it this way. When, when we'd go out to eat, we, we'd choose a place that looked real clean and had a nice sign, you know, and, and that food must be really good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where we wouldn't go to the hole in the wall place, though right, the food may right. be just as good, but it's like the first, the, that first impression does, 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 just doesn't hit us. Right. And I, I bet for a lot of, you know, you guys out there, you, mm -hmm. you think kind of the same way, right. you know, yeah. and that's certainly how our yeah. customers are thinking about us. Mm -hmm. You know, the yeah. plumbing may be the best. Hey, hey, and, Dan. And what's great, just going oh. back, I'll, I'll answer in a second, but like what's great mm -hmm. about the opportunity also is the fact that most of the competitors don't understand branding, right? So, right. so, so it's not like, like, listen, if every one of my clients were within 15 miles of my office, like it, it would almost be bad because they, you'd have really great brands all in one community. It would be almost harder to stand out. But the fact is, is like every time we do a competitive analysis of, of our clients and they say these are our biggest competitors, and I look at the stuff and I'm like, this is the biggest competitor in your market, really? <laughs> and, and it's like, so that's the hidden opportunity. Like that's where you can kill it because these guys aren't even maximizing their opportunities. They've got a fleet of trucks, let's say, and they all look like look look like garbage. Mm -hmm. So like what would happen to your business if you had the best branded business in the area? And and you can see how that starts taking hold and how you start just gaining that that presence in that market just by doing that part right. 